Hi, this is Stefan for Android Pit. I'm standing here in Barcelona at MWC 2017. And next to me is Jörn Watzke. You're the director for the B2B sales at Garmin. And we were talking before about wearables and data, and especially what to do with the data from wearables. Can you tell us something about that? Yeah, wearables are very interested in, and it's a, it's a big trend uh, for the user and brings a benefit for the user. And uh, we collect a lot of data which we use to help the user uh, to, to live healthier. Um, but we also open uh, this uh, interface also to partners. So um, if the user like and, and approve this, he can share this data also with other programs. So this is a, is a big trend. We see this in, in corporate health also for companies, but also for insurances. Uh, they want to use this to bind the customers, offer benefit to live healthier. Of course, there's also the question, say, this data, you can learn a lot out of this data. And uh, this is true. You can, um, because uh, we have seen this in, in studies also from Stanford University and so on, that uh, the body gives indications if he get ill, um, if he have problems, and uh, this can be measured. So just an example, our um, sleep is changing. As we measuring the different sleep phases uh, with the watches uh, in, in analytics and, uh, and big data, uh, partners of us can analyze this and, and can detect then uh, when um, you, um, you have a certain diseases. So for instance, uh, one example is that diabetes. Pre-diabetes can be detected uh, by, uh, by sensors like this, not 100%, but with a certain probability which is important because then early um, um, it can be invested in these people um, and, uh, and this changed their life in, in a positive way. We even, um, we know this, uh, everybody knows this, when you drink alcohol, when you eat or whatever, then and go to bed, uh, you sleep not so well. So and this can be detected. So even you could detect if you are um, if you are drinking alcohol, what could be a, could be a thing which which you could de could detect. So there is a lot of things, in, in, and we see this. Uh, I believe we just scratch on the surface currently. There will be a lot of things uh, coming, and, and uh, this will open a lot of uh, new things for us. So who are the people that are most interested into the data? Which are the besides the the persons themselves that are using the wearables and you mentioned health insurances who are you talking to at the moment um, for us is um, um, we have all kind of uh, of, uh, of interest I mean in center is always a user that's uh, that's important but um, uh, health insurances are interested in this one to invest in, in in this field important for us is here is that it is not uh, to reduce the risk for the insurance for us is important that this is the prevention part uh, uh, so so we are working here uh, especially in, in areas where uh, like in the Middle East where uh, the idea Diabetes is a huge, huge issue. We have in Europe around 9% uh, diabetes rate. In this uh, region, in Middle East, we have a diabetes rate of 14 till, um, till 20%. So therefore, they are investing here and they have also government programs pushing the, the health insurances to do something, to make this kind of prevention and detect uh, these people. So that's the main interest here. Okay, great. Um, so what, what Besides um, the classic data that we see right now, what are what are different data or different aspects that we can measure in the future? For example, there is I know that with spectrometry, there's a lot of research that you can of things that you can measure through the skin, like for example, different chemicals in the blood flow and. What, what can we expect there in the future? What are the possibilities that we can detect and learn about our bodies maybe in five years or from now? Yeah. Um, um if I would know this, I would be happy. I can I can say our interest is exactly what, what you described. We want we want to measure as much as possible um, to learn more about our body and gives advices and, and, and help the people uh, to live healthier and, 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 and get earlier indications. So um, um, I, just by when we see our heart rate measurement, I mean um, two years ago the heart rate on 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 rest is 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 not was 
so good. And you see the improvement, what we are doing now, we are measuring now continuously uh, the, the heart rate and, and it gets more and more um, uh, precise. And if you get to then not only measure heart rate and you could measure heart rate variability and, and other things, so you learn then more and more. And, um, and I believe that's the direction we, uh, uh, the wearables will go. And there's also a trade of always is that um, we still want to make consumer devices. So devices which are small, have a long battery lifetime and so on. I mean, you can do a lot of these sensors in the big size for medical uh, purposes, but we want to have nice, beautiful devices which, which will be used. So that, that's a trade-off and that's where I believe uh, everybody will work on to get more and better data, which then uh, turns in, into better services. Okay, great. Thank you very much for that insight and have a great trade show. Thank you.